Hey everyone, it's me again, Jan from Austria. Um, welcome back to my vlog series. And today I'm gonna be telling you a bit more about what has happened in November and early December uh, as it is now approaching. And we are actually finishing up the semester as, uh, I'm, as I speak. So that means that I can think back and look at all the great experiences I've had uh, from uh, going out and having fun in Singapore to uh, malfunctioning or two well-functioning uh, alarm clocks. But all this has accumulated to a really rose-colored picture that I still have of Singapore. In this video, above all, I'm gonna be talking about essays and research paper and exam, um, as this has been uh, preoccupying all the students, at least the freshmen, uh, during the last two weeks, three weeks. Um, but now everything is done, so that means that it's a huge relief, um, but then again, it feels weird not to be studying or reading or doing anything, um, but it feels feels great, I gotta say. First off, I just want to elaborate a bit more on what it's like to write essays and research papers here at the LNUS. Especially me being from abroad, it wasn't always easy, uh, especially at some point I felt that I wasn't as efficient and uh, productive as other people were. I mean, I spent a lot of time on my essays and uh, structuring everything, but a lot of times it just amounted to nothing and uh, after getting some feedback I thought that my idea was destroyed but it just takes a lot of uh, a lot of learning a lot of getting experiences um, writing essays and getting all the feedback that you can every once in a while I've had this problem of uh, having too many empty words in uh, my, my essays which means that I have some sections that don't necessarily say anything it's just about sounding good and like rounding up the essay even though it's not necessary and I do that a lot in general also speaking to people, it's, uh, it's a habit, I think, because I generally don't like silence. In the end, however, I think it was exactly spending that much time and effort on writing my essays and trying to figure out what is wrong with the previous one or what could be done better that made me improve in my essay writing. And that's why the first semester is ungraded anyway, to just get a taste of what it is like and uh, get a habit of um, communicating with profs and writing and structuring the essay in the right way in the most efficient and productive way. So I think that I've definitely uh, achieved in my first sem. Hopefully, I guess I'll just see next semester. On the second weekend in November, we made a trip to Malaysia which a few other freshmen and I had organized. We took the bus to Mount Datuk which proved to be a very difficult but ultimately manageable obstacle. All 19 of us had reached the summit and were rewarded with an amazing view from the top of the mountain. Just recently I explored parts of Singapore which I hadn't seen before and I went on a hike with our adventure club. The physical activity and socializing outside of campus was just perfect. It balanced out the studying and general lack of activity during exam week, which I probably just suffered because I was too much in the library. Admittedly though, our library is a pretty amazing place. Personally, I've discovered that activity in between studying is indeed effective and a very beneficial and more than necessary break sometimes.
if there's one thing that cheered me up during exam season, it's Gong Cha, Milk Tea. Through all those late nights of studying and writing essays, it has always stood by my side. And some people say it's a matter of concern, my addiction to it, but it's just so really good. And especially with grass jelly, I just can't resist. Let's go! Let's go. 